Do reči. Partizan is my club, I like this club, I feel this really deep inside of myself. And okay, it was one moment uh, after so many years that I work outside of my country, possibility to come over here to enjoy the life with friends, that I miss them. The reason that I say it, because Partizan is something special, more than special for me. I understand that the uh, job is very tough, very difficult. Everything, we have young team, we have some experienced players. However, the only way is to be in the gym, to continue to work very hard, and I will be very happy if all my players come close to have this feeling for partisan that I have. Uh, happy in Toronto, great organization, uh, great coaching staff. I was having really very rewarding role into the coaching staff. Then at the end of the season, the Virtus came up uh, with a real, really interesting proposal, and it was especially uh, the right situation to to go back to Europe, to go back to full time head coaching position and um, also back home. But moreover, because the project of uh, Virtus Bologna is really interesting. It's one of the few European projects who are clearly going upwards. Uh, they have an upside, they have a big city. And I, I really felt how, how great it is, is to, to be involved in basketball in this town. Everybody's dream this year would be to end up in the in the in the Euroleague next year because the effort of the of the ownership, the the tradition of the of the of this club team, the city itself, the fans, everybody deserve to be back where where they believe they belong. Everybody said this is the most competitive Euro Cup ever, right? This is what people say, and I I, I might agree with this. And it's challenging, and it's, it's nice to be in this in this competition uh, this year. Svi mi u Srbiji i Evropi prvo nismo verovali kad su krenule vesti. Osjećao sam se sjajno, jer sam znao da će to mnogo da znači što se već vidi za partizan, za srpsku, za evropsku košarku. To je čovek kome ne treba pričati. Gen je košarkaški. I da vrati partizan na, i kažem i našu košarku na staze slave, kao što nekad bilo. 
Nakon ono teške sezone i vraćanja Zorana Savića, dakle dovođenja Zorana Savića na mesto direktora, odmah smo krenuli da pričamo o treneru. Dakle, ja kad sam spomenuo Željka Obradovića, on me gledao bledo i to smo tko nije ništa ni pričao. Dakle, mislim da je mislio da sam lud, negde to kasnije i izjavio. Kako je prolazilo vreme, ja svima kojima sam pričao da jednostavno želim da se vrati Željko Bradović, većina ljudi mi je reklo, eto, pa i ja želim isto da vozim Formule 1, pa i nikada nisam vozio. Bukvalno je bilo, bila su neka takva poređenja i kako je prolazilo vreme, ja sam se više verovao u to da će se desiti, a oni su se više verovali da ja jednostavno nisam normalan. I kad se to dogodilo i kada sam tražio način na koji ćemo da obavestimo javnost, da niko ne misli da je šala, da jednostavno javnost poveruje u stvarno to da je Željko Bradić postao trener. Ovo proces je veoma, veoma izgledan i veoma strange. I know him personally from the 90s, with my roommate in the whole preparation national team. And uh, I know him personally very well, you know, but I know that he's the, the guy that he's crazy about the partisan, and he loves part everything to, to connect with the partisan. He's one of the biggest fans of a partisan ever. And uh, I don't need to convince Željko Bradović, you know, we don't need to convince Željko Bradović to, to, uh, to sign for partisan. Ravi Željko bi bring the unbelievable entuziasm and the fans, you know, in the club and everything. Everything is completely different uh, comparing with the, with the last season. First Euro Cup game, you know, there's a lot of expectation. So uh, just that happened that first game at home. It was a real important competition for us this season. So um, there was a lot of emotion, a lot of, a lot of energy in the building. I was able to come here and, and play for him and help this city, club, just help everybody that's a part of Partizan get back to Euro League. So that, that, that would really mean a lot to me for me to help this team get back to Euro League. I think the fans also miss the game and also to see a team live. So it was. Very good atmosphere, like uh, always, and uh, I think uh, everybody enjoying players, coaches, and and of course fans. Congratulations to my players! Important victory at uh, first home game. However, this incredible atmosphere, thanks to everybody who came tonight. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pa dobro, ja mislim da je red da ga lepo prime i pozdrave. Ostavio je on tu dosta, što kaže, pozitivnih stvari. Jer Čačak nije poznat po nekim političarima, nego je poznat po njemu, Kićanu. Oni su, što kaže, dali pečat veliki. Dobro, ja sam tu pripomogao malo, da kažem, ajde, i zadovoljan sam što su postali uspešni ljudi i sportisti. I igrači, mislim da je to deo i mog nekog zalaganja da se to dogodi. I grew up over there, you know, and I was until my age of 24, so the period that I was young, I was over there, I started to, to, to feel like man in this period, you know, if you have 24 years, you are not anymore kid, so I will always be very thankful with all the people that they helped me over there in my, let's say, time that I play for Borac. And uh, I'm very happy because now, you know, I'm in Belgrade and I don't need so much time to go to Čačak and to see, first of all, my mother that is over there and to see a lot of friends. Friends that I grew up with them, that it was in the same street. And any time that I go over there, you know, I meet a lot of them. I feel like I'm a Pa svaki grad bi volio da ima tako, tako, tako ličnost da bude iz tog grada. Kako ne, pa mnogo znači Čačku, mnogo ga vole. I vidio, poznat je svuda u svijetu, evo zašto je bio Čačku. Znači ima, ima veliku značku. On je dobio, on je počasni građani grada Čačka od 2017. godine. Znači to grad pokušava da mu se odluži na neki način. On je to zaslužio. Znači šta da kažem.
I play over there from, let's say, 15 years old, so even a little bit more until 24. So almost 10 years I was over there every day. Every day, two times, a lot of hours, you know. People, some of people is, is over there also. Some of them, they, they play basketball with me. Now they're in different position. Okay, people from Chachak recognize, they know how much I like city and uh, how special it's for me every time to go over there, especially to play official game, let's say that. I was always a bit thankful how they applaud me before the game and during the game. So they know that after Partizan, they are in my heart and they will be always in my heart and I wish to them all the best. He loves it. Uh, he, he, he sleeps, eats, drinks basketball, like seriously. He's extremely detailed. Uh, he still does it as if he didn't win any titles. So that's, that's, I feel like that just makes him great. Always play hard, always fight. He say that a lot to us, like just always fight, always fight. And so for me personally, I, it, it, it personally resonates with me a little deeper than when he says fight, because for me, most of my life career, I had to do a lot of that. So when he says that, you know, it, it, it means a lot. So a lot of times when I'm on that court, he don't care about you being perfect or anything, but he just wants you to play hard and just fight and don't be soft. You know what I'm saying? It just always give you all. That's, that's the main thing you care about. If you do that, everything else will handle itself. It's always a mix, right, of, of feelings because you are happy to see your family, your friends. Uh, you feel like you are beloved in, in that gym, in that arena. So many people who, have, who even grew with you when you were when you were a child and helped you, in, in, even doing doing your first steps in. In basketball, uh, it's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be a tough game from a basketball standpoint, and uh, a pretty emotional one probably for myself, uh, um, from a personal, let's say personal wise. <laughs> Trovo per strada quando vengo a casa. È quel, quel piccolo vissuto che, che ovviamente ti fa sentire effettivamente a casa, questa amicità è, è, è suo amico orgoglioso no? di, 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 delle mie radici, di, da dove sono, dove sono nato, dove sono cresciuto, dove sono formato. Sono stata senza altro emozionante, ripeto, è. è un momento così che poi però quando comincia la partita è finito e magari adesso effettivamente che la partita è finita si può assaporare. The roster of Virtus Kinder Bologna was just impressive. Antoine Rigado, uh, Richard Griffith, later on Manu Ginobili. Um, fitting in into that team was like, <clears throat> I always explain, like, uh, like a kid coming to a candy shop. Etre will always be somebody that had a great effect on my career, not only as, uh, or my life, not just career, my life.
not as a coach or as a mentor, but also as a teacher, maybe a father figure that I never had. I will always remember his, his passion, his energy. He is just somebody that will bring out the best in you. He will be very hard on you, but he will be also somebody that will push you to your limit. And he will be there with you in the bad or in the good moments. Ettore was all about uh, defense. That was his thing back then. Order and defense. Discipline and concentration. Concentration meant knowing what, what you have to do and doing it at the, at the exact point in time <clears throat> that you were supposed to do that. Well, in 2001, it was a very special and unique season, probably, because uh, we had a completely new team, Rashar Griffith, uh, Antoine Rigolo and others, but we had Manu Ginobili, Marco Jaric, Matthias Modis, David Enzo, a, a bunch of young players, great stars, that would eventually become amazing players. And uh, a key role was played by Antoine Rigolo, because Antoine, until then, and back in 98, when we won the EuroLeague, he was our starting point guard. And he easily moved uh, to the wing position, and uh, basically was our cerebral player on the court, giving the confidence to the young players that they could really go up and down like they liked, because Antoine was backing them, you know, with his uh, intelligence and understanding of the tempo of the game. But that was a very, very special team. La stagione 2001 è stata memorabile. Io personalmente contentissimo perché ero anche capitano. Le capacità di atletiche, le capacità tecniche di Mano Ginobili in quel match, la, la prepotenza, la fisicità di Rashard Griffith, importantissimo. Anche eh, Marco Jaric giocò veramente una, una, una gran partita. Giocavamo davanti al nostro pubblico, c'erano 8-9 mila persone, non potevamo perdere. I think in a player's career, the first win uh, in a big competition uh, really changes you in terms of uh, your personal confidence, but also in how you understand how you have to play those big games. There are a lot of players and a lot of teams that have transformed themselves after the first win. And uh, for sure, to win such a competition changes completely everybody's life. The things that I learned in Virtus Kinder Bologna were with me to the whole of my career. And I think I was extremely lucky that I was a part of this group that made so, so, so great uh, impact of the European and even world basketball. Perché sono cose che sono uniche, no? Non succedono spesso e quando succedono lasciano un tatuaggio. Tutti i legami che rimangono e sono fanno parte della nostra del nostro DNA, della nostra storia, è importantissima per la Virtus e speriamo di poter un giorno rivedere eh, o eh, ricamminare sulle stesse sulle stesse orme. Così. La relazione con la Virtus è data tanto tempo perché io ho abitato, sono mezzo bolognese, Bologna la Virtus è un'istituzione. Mia figlia faceva l'università a Bologna e in casa avevo tanti cappellini sempre della Virtus. Quindi se io avessi dovuto tifare per una squadra di basket sicuramente sarebbe stata la Virtus. E un giorno mi telefonò Bucci eh, dicendomi se lo aiutavo perché la Virtus era in cattive acque, era in difficoltà. E quindi mi sono sentito in dovere di aiutare eh, Bucci e Alberto per, per cercare di aiutare a, a uscire con la Virtus in qualche modo. Ed è stato un successo perché da là abbiamo vinto il campionato di A2, abbiamo fatto la Coppa Italia di A2, poi abbiamo vinto la Champion. Poi abbiamo vinto la Supercoppa, abbiamo vinto il campionato, quindi ogni anno abbiamo vinto qualche cosa, quindi è stato un, un grosso successo.
Ma io dico sempre eh, per la Virtus io sarei tanto onorato, gratificato e forse l'obiettivo che io sento di più sarebbe vincere lo scudetto con le ragazze. Poi il secondo obiettivo è quello di vincere l'Eurocamp e poter andare in Eurolega perché eh, le mie aziende sono un po' in tutto il mondo e quindi è molto importante per noi essere un po' in tutta Europa. Ci siamo anche con l'Eurocamp, ma l'Eurolega diciamo è la, 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 la coppa più importante. These are two genuine title contenders. I think it's important for us to control the rhythm and to control our turnovers because um, Virtus uh, score a lot of points after, after the steals of the balls. Yeah, I think it's the most important. Scored those points so efficiently as well. And it's a sloppy turnover from Valencia this time. Here is Cordigne for the three. He'd only just hit one, but misses from the corner, and Mannion pounces, hangs one high. Bueno, yo creo que a la que nos calmamos un poquito y tuvimos la la paciencia de de pasarnos el balón y mover el balón, eh, creo que entramos en en juego y ahí pues equilibramos y sí que tuvimos ahí algunos momentos de inspiración desde la línea de tres. Doblevich. The captain had to be the man. Well, forget the road to greatness, Valencia. Trepolic free for the three, beautiful Valencia basketball. Valencia get it down the floor and get the win. From 21 down, coach Peña Roya's team weathered the storm of the many offensive weapons of Virtus. Well, it was a moment complicated for us in the season, with a lot of highs, with a team incomplete, what we didn't permitía pues seguramente hacer el juego que queríamos en ese inicio de tanto de Eurocup como, como de nuestra liga doméstica y ese partido pues hizo que diéramos un paso adelante porque en una situación de dificultad con la falta de muchos jugadores eh, vimos que era un año para, para estar juntos para no poner excusas y al final pues nos sacamos una victoria muy importante diría uh, we wanna be all the way in the finals this year try to get another Another title for this big club. We were down almost 20 points, and uh, this is the this is the heart of this team. I mean, we never give up, and uh, today we we get paid off. I spent 13 years over there. I remember my son, one of my sons came to the game with two friends and, and he told me, hey daddy, we couldn't listen each other one, one centimeter uh, because the, the fans were pushing and cheering. He, he couldn't explain better than, than me uh, the feeling, the, the, the way they, they are. We have to understand Badalona has a, a lot of experienced players. This is the, the biggest difference between them and us. That we have a, a lot of young players. And uh, I remember uh, we wanted to, to stop the creators because uh, they, they know how to pass the ball. It was our main concern. Guillaume Vives finds Baganda going for the slam dunk. Simon Baganda over the day. A crucial game in Group A. It's Kevin Punter gets his first point of the second half. 
Vives weighs up Smalagic. Oh, my word, Guillaume Vives. One-footed, leaning away at the shot clock buzzer. But he gets it back, and it's Ventura. And he says, my turn! Albert Ventura with his first three of the night and smiles all round. Celebration in the stands. Incredible, la peña. Incredible, incredible. Feia temps que no veia un equip meu com com ha estat en aquest segon i tercer quart i sobretot perquè hem tingut un una atmosfera, un públic, una gent que s'ha tornat boja amb nosaltres i els hi agraïm molt. When you play against Partizan with the, the fans crazy and the team play with a passion, this is basketball, no? Focus, where we're unbeatable. I feel like that's going to be the main thing for us once players come around, because we, you you didn't play these teams already, you know what they're going to do. So it's just a matter of just being focused and getting it done. I think we are doing a good job. Not maybe not uh, excellent, but uh, we are doing a good job. We understand we have a new team with many new players, with a lot of uh, young players. Uh, we have to get the puzzle on, on the right uh, way. And uh, this is what we are trying. Partizan 69, versus Sport 72. Four and a half minutes to play. Lede left unguarded. That will be more important part of the season, you know, because you play one game, you continue competition, you're out. We need to be ready for that. Again, if you have difficult time in front of you, always is the uh, same solution. Court, work hard, stay together, help each other, and uh, fight until the end. And Belgrade belongs to Matthias Lasor. It feels and sounds like the glory days again. Left in the game. Is that a, an offensive foul? It is. On Yamada. Partizan could choose to foul. It's Holland. Sidestep. Three point shot. History still beckons for Bursaspor. 7.1 to try and get the score to send them to the quarterfinals. I'm in peace with myself because, you know, I work very hard. I, I try to give everything that I have inside of me. I will continue in that way. I will try really this that I have inside, this wish, this uh, uh, motivation. And we are heading to overtime. Andrew Andrews with a hand in his face hits the big shot and Bursus Ball believe. The dream is dying for Partizan. Bitten, taking it to the basket. The dream killer. And versus Bohr in their first ever playoff game have produced an almighty upset. Dusan Olimpievic gets the better of Zhalko Obradovic. It was not in the fairy tale return script for the club legend to go out of the last 16. How would you describe everything that happened tonight, especially? Oh, it's very difficult. Congratulations to the team of Bursa. I believe that it was easy for us to finish the game in regular time. It happened what happened this basketball. Congratulations to them. Thank you, coach. The margins are so fine as we get set to enter the final four minutes. It's going to be the final four minutes of the season for one of these teams. Willis into Birgander. Got a little look at the basket, and that's all he needs. Mm -hmm. 
will get them within touching distance and Sir Marge Christon obliges. And the Joventut flame is still faintly flickering. Rebass almost lost it. Recovers it. Steps back. Three-point shot. Pow! Pow, pow, pow! Joventut aren't done yet. They do get possession. They only have eight seconds, though, for two threes and a stop. Tomic went for the quick points, got stripped. And we have the first major shock of this curious new Euro Cup concept. All the underdogs bite hard in battle, owner. Coach, very, very tough match. That must be disappointing. Terrible game for us. Terrible. I'm Only... sorry for the fans. Only 20% uh, in the three point shots. Now it's difficult for me now to talk with, with you. I'm sorry, okay? En esta Eurocopa hay grandes, hay grandes rivales, hay grandes equipos. Llevamos una temporada complicada con, con muchas cosas que nos han pasado a lo largo del año y bueno, lo que, lo que tenemos que estar es tranquilos. Eh, creo que estamos en, en un buen momento y prepararnos para, para el siguiente rival y bueno, creo que hemos hecho un, un buen partido. For me, winning the Euro Cup uh, will be something uh, amazing. I'm now captain and uh, for me, I mean, I'm really motivated for that and uh, nothing, we go step by step and uh, try to win. Every year this club is bigger and bigger and, and this club deserves to play Euroleague, stay in Euroleague and play a lot of years in Euroleague. They play amazing in their league and then they play great, they have amazing games in, in the Euro Cup. But we have home court and uh, with our amazing fans, I think that we can, if we stay focused, if we play our game, I think we can win them. Valencia with the score. Surely sends Valencia to the semi finals. And their score could come from Yasiel Rivero off the pass from Dublovic. The celebration begins in the stands. The clock runs out. The end of the season. The seven days Euro Cup ends for Metropolitans. Valencia, march on. They move along the road to greatness. Valencia, 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 Now you play against Spiritus in the semi-finals and again here at La Fondera, which is a key factor, isn't it? Yeah, of course, we're playing uh, maybe the best team on the list by the name, so going to be really hard, but I think uh, if we have uh, fans like tonight, we can fight with them too. John Holland, you are in front. Uh, how do you see, how did you see first half? <laughs> We some dogs, we some dogs, not just any dogs. We some pit bulls, underdogs, and we don't care. We some pit bulls. <sighs> nice first game, good luck. I mean, I felt like we were dogs, and we were, and we, we did what we had to do. Obviously, they came back, and they made it a, a close game, so a lot of respect to them, but like at the time, that's how I was feeling, so that's, that's just kind of came out in the interview. Two points the difference. There's about a four second differential between shot clock and game clock. This possession could be your ball game. 
If versus more score here, it's all but over. Can Cedavita get a stop? He does! Farrell walls up on Andrew Andrews and draws the charge. A three to win it. Farrell's been the hot hand. Now the mismatch with Hayes. Farrell gonna try and break down Hayes. Pulling, pulling, has to let it go. Does he get it off in time? And it will all come down now to this instant replay. It is now all down, video monitor. Everyone looks at Luigi LaMonica, the lead referee, and he waves it off. So versus more, stand tall here in Ljubljana. And after upsetting Partizan Belgrade in the Serbian capital, they beat Sedevita Olympia Ljubljana right here in the capital of Slovenia. What a performance. I mean, honestly, I'm out of mind right now, but I will tell you one thing. I think this is one of the best dreams in European basketball right now and still dreaming. A small club in the northwest of Turkey have come into the playoffs and they've shocked the world. They beat Partizan Belgrade in overtime in front of 19,000 fans in the Stark Arena. Last week in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, they beat Sedevita Olympia Ljubljana by two points. That wasn't enough and they come here on the road to the capital of the Principality of Andorra. And here in Andorra La Vela, the capital city, Bursaspor have put their place to the finals for the first time in the history of the club. They record a comfortable win here. What do you think it was the key for your team to win tonight? Oh, that's, uh, that's easy. We always focus on defense. We knew defense win us this game. We came out hard, tried to be the best pit bulls we can be. Came off the leash. Urgh. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm probably not going to hear the end of it. Probably going to hear girls for the rest of my life, you know? <laughs> but uh, it's cool. It'll be worth it. It'll all be worth it if we win. Rivero against Weems. He likes that matchup and he converts it. Tedosic makes the three point shot. He has the skills. Belenetti fumbles, stolen. Lopez Aristegui dances down the court. And that quality right there is quite low as Toby. I was in Beatrice Bologna when I was uh, uh, 14, 15, 16 years old, you know, then I went to NBA for uh, 13 years. To be here with Beatrice Bologna with this organization, uh, for me is amazing, especially, you know, because I, I got the possibility to stay close to my family, my wife Martina, my daughter, you know, like, so it's an amazing feeling and uh, every practice, every game, I try to be ready and try to give everything for, uh, for this team. We finally got the, the, the say, um, the, the definitive um, setup with, uh, with a couple more players. And we have been playing well. From then on, we show maturity, we show more experience, toughness. Our defense improved a lot, so. But of course, you got to give credit to, to an opponent so strong, so good, pushed forward from their fans, which have been unbelievable throughout the whole game. Weems. Hackett, can he make the shot? Yes, he can. 
What a play from Bologna. Shengelia finds Samson who raises for the slam dunk. And Jakar Samson tonight is the hero of the paint for the team in black. When I signed my contract, I spoke with Danetti, with Luca and Paolo that, you know, this team needs to be in Euroleague. Win championship in Italy and needs to be in Europe, you know, in Euroleague. The job is not done. The job is not done yet. We have one more game. We have a lot of experience in this, and I know that uh, you don't have to be euphoric about nothing. I mean, we we beat a great team. We we did it on a tough court. We uh, had a good game. Actually, we played a good game for sure. But we need one more. So we had to focus on performance and forget who's at home. Just focus on the game and have a good solid game plan, implement it in the game, compete, play together, accept roles and, and, uh, and, and fight on the floor. That's it. John Doe. see it. Oh, cool. Why? Congrats for coach Ali. Thank you. Well deserved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well deserved. Thank you. Great job you're doing. Yeah, well, you're here. Good game. Coach, it's a final. Uh, I suppose uh, you feel underdog uh, also tonight. Huh? Yeah. I mean, this is something that follows us from the beginning of this playoff, uh, playoff games, playoff rhythm. And, uh, you know, for today there is. Uh, there is one game, nothing else after this. This is five on five, so there is nothing more. We will play as best as we can, and uh, I'm sure that my guys are aware of the uh, importance of this game. Our home court our fans are amazing, but also, you know, on the road, it doesn't matter for us either, you know? Uh, it really doesn't matter who we play. Uh, it's about us. Sure, we're gonna have a lot of help from uh, our fans. They are really important for us. Uh, you know, like uh, we deserve you to be in Euroleague, but we need to prove we need to prove that. And our fans and Bologna, Virtus Bologna, need to be in Euroleague. You know, so uh, for sure it's gonna be like a crazy atmosphere. But uh, we need to stay together, and uh, we're gonna try to be ready for that game.
with the voices of the Bologna fans. Weems with a three and he strings it. Point guard, he'll let fly with a deep three and he got it. That's a big, big basket for Bursaspor. Watch this pass from Biola. Bullet pass to Bellinelli who lays it up and in. Taya Dosic around the corner on a screen, rises for the mid-range jump shot, banks it in. That's Holland with a ball. three, Good and a nice basketball. three from basketball. Holland. Stolen now, Bologna looks to turn it into points. Nice pass along the baseline. And Samson with the finish inside off the nifty bounce pass from Biola. Terrific deflection by Hayes with the pass inside to Samson. <laughs> Taya Dosic, let's fly. Taya Dosic is feeling it. The Troy guard from Milos Taya Dosic. Yeah, wide miss there from Paola. Holland knocks down a three. He'll get to the elbow. Got it! Well, versus Ford will force a timeout from Coach Scariolo. Inside hard nose basket oh. by Shingalia. Bellinelli, and Bellinelli does what he does best. He knocks down a triple. Pass right down to JT, who lays it up and in. Oh. The block from none other than Kyle Weems, who's been Superman tonight. Euro Cup Championship, it's a ticket to the EuroLeague. Yeah, they return back to the EuroLeague. They haven't been in the EuroLeague since 2007, 2008 season. And so Bologna will ink their name in the 2022 Euro Cup as the champions of the 20th edition. Back to 2010, regular season MVP in the Euro Cup 2020 and 2021. Well, the reason why he's worthy as the most valuable player is he made the big shots at the big moments. And he gets to raise. 20th edition of the Seven Days Euro Cup, the 2022 champions, Virtus Bologna.